What is up guys? We are at my place of work today for this next gym vlog, Legacy Performance Academy in the Chesterfield Valley. We're about to take over guys. It's, oh, yeah. it's about to be game over, a little, yes. little cardio circuit, what do we think? I don't even know Something what like this that? workout is, <laughs> yeah. You guys are gonna follow along though, it's probably gonna be hard, but whatever. Yeah, it's, that's, it's in that's, our that's DNA. Our, that's our usual. Yeah, guess. exactly. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right guys, we're gonna go check out the gym. Let's go, let's go. So we've got brand new racks and stuff down here. We got four double-sided. We've got probably the best kettlebell collection in St. Louis. We go all the way up to 106 back there. We've got our sick med ball wall here with all of our med balls as well. Pretty good med ball collection as well, if you ask me. Behind the camera right now, we got all of our cardio equipment. Go ahead and take a look. A couple skiers, a couple slide boards. You see Mr. Jeff Lavecchio loving his. We've got a couple of these. These are, these are sweet. We also got a couple of the uh, woodway treadmills, you know, testing sprint speed, things like that. Super useful. Assault bike, couple rowers. Um, pretty sweet place though. We got any kind of band you would possibly want. We got a tank sled down here. Also, follow me here. Probably my favorite piece of equipment that we have. It would have to be this guy, our run rocket here. These are, uh, these are kind of rare to get because they're in super high demand. I believe they're made in Texas, um, but this thing is freaking sweet. You see some of the big time D1 colleges with a bunch of them, you know, professional sports teams, football, baseball, but these things are great for increasing sprint speed, okay? It's resisted sprints, you basically put this belt on and then you can turn up the uh, resistance basically as high as you wanna go. These, these things are sweet. Super hard to find, very cool tool that we have here. But uh, that's kind of the place, let's jump into the workout now. All right, so check it ladies and gentlemen. Big thing Warts and I are huge fans of when it comes to warming up is foam rolling. So foam rolling, the biggest thing about it, you don't ever wanna do it after a workout because there's not a ton of evidence when it comes to benefit of you know gaining flexibility, gaining mobility after a workout. But the benefit of the before the workout foam rolling is that what you're gonna gain is that quick muscle activation from it. It's only gonna last usually for the workout and that's the whole reason of the warm up. But that's why instead of putting it after the workout, which a lot of people tend to do, you put it before the workout to actually activate the muscles. Something like this, a lot of you have probably seen a similar foam rolling style like this, but if I wanted to get my back, I kind of lean over it, just roll nice and slow. I don't ever try to rush this because honestly, if you do that, you're like this, and you're just going back and forth. You're not gonna gain anything out of that at that point in time. So it's kind of sit, sink into that muscle, maybe lean into it a little bit. You can do it on your quads. You can do it up on, even on your chest. You can do it up on your shoulders up here. Don't be too picky. Something like a little cross ball does a very similar thing to this as well. Uh, let's hop into the next part of the warm up. So guys, after the foam rolling, big portion where it's and I also like to get into is basic mobility activation movements. Something like a bird dog or a T-spine twist is a great movement with that. A lot of times we'll go through 90-90 hip mobility. Probably some of you have actually seen that with Jeff Vecchio and other guys like that. But you're sitting here and you're just getting through, working through that hip. You might switch sides just like this. Go to the other side, get through that other hip there. Now, you can also do a dynamic warm up with it too. A lot of you have probably seen stuff like this, you know, open the gate, close the gate type thing. You might do karaoke, get the leg up, follow through, get the leg up, just like that. Or you might do broad jumps, which a lot of you have seen broad jumps. I'm not gonna demonstrate it because the mic might fly off if I do that right now, guys. But get something in like that. It doesn't have to be too complex. That's one thing a lot of people mistake for is they'll get into a warm up and they'll turn it into the basis 20 minute routine. Next thing you know, your workout is you're gassed already for it because you warmed up for 20 minutes, your heart rate's at 130 beats per minute. So find something that works for you, maybe five movements total, and start with that. If you wanna add other stuff in, that's fine, but do not complicate it too much, otherwise you're gonna make exercise miserable. So let's go. All right guys, so our first three movements that we're doing, we are actually going to be using little sliders like this. Most gyms, I would say, have these. Um, a lot of times they have turf, they have those. Yes, 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 exactly. So sometimes they're rectangles, sometimes they're circles like the ones we've got here at Legacy. Um, but we're gonna be using these for sliding reverse lunges, then uh, sliding pike press. And we'll showcase all of these. And then our last one, we're actually gonna go over to our slide boards and we're gonna be doing uh, sliding rollouts. Same, similar to an ab rollout if you've seen that with the wheel before. Yep. Guys, so we're gonna rock three rounds of this, 15 reps on each movement. Now, don't get mad at us if the 15 reps look tough on the pike press and the rollout, okay? Because we're doing our best here. We are doing we're, our we're best, We're not yes. core guys usually, but we're going to yeah. do our best for you guys. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
those first three sets. Sorry, I was just stealing your equipment real quick. <laughs> um, first few sets were absolutely horrible and we didn't even get all of it on camera for you guys. I literally had an aneurysm during the, the rollouts on the second set. You guys missed that one. That third set, somehow I survived. I think I was doing it for you guys, but it was not good. Not good at all. What's up, gang? So, movement, first movement of the actual workout portion, you know, if you didn't think that other portion was a workout, um, first movement of that is gonna be basically a version of dumbbell loaded jumps. Easiest way to put that, it's gonna look, you're gonna take a step in, and you're gonna explode up, landing on both legs just like that. Now, you're gonna grab weights and do that with it. I won't show you with the weights just because I think that'll flop the mic out, but you get the idea, hold weights, step in, boom. So obviously, you know, me being a huge baseball guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, you are I, now. I know a ton about it, of course. <laughs> you know, no big deal. So obviously you guys are going into the off season. Yes. Because, you know, everybody should know by now, World Series just ended, mm -hmm. Rangers won. You Texas know, pretty Rangers. Pretty cool. First one in first one ever, uh, franchise right? history, yeah. yeah. So pretty cool. So you guys are in off season for pretty much all ages of baseball, I assume. Yes. Right? Yep. Yep. So what does your training look like for them starting in the off season? You know, is it high stimulus right away? Is it is it like what type of stuff are we looking at? Yeah, so we probably three weeks ago or so, we just started our density phase is what it's called. But prior to that, where we really just started the off season, we were in our stability phase. So it's a lot of core work, a lot of um, single leg, single arm type movements, um, but especially a lot of core work. A lot, a lot of core work. We're basically just refining those little muscles, guys. Um, that's kind of the purpose after the season, priming their bodies for the density phase because the density phase, which we're in now, um, again, I think this is week it's either week three or four, I can't remember. Which is a, sick, About a sick name to call it too. Density, oh, it is, that's dude. always cool to call it, it, yeah. It's so much fun because basically density, guys, we, we have three sets of two movements twice. I don't know if that makes sense or not. So yep. six total. So like you'll do the same two movements here, here, then you'll get three new ones here and here, and then you'll get two more to finish here and here. And basically density, you're fighting the clock. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get as many rounds as possible in a five minute span, then a six minute span, then a four minute span, and you only get two minutes of rest in between each one. So it's super intense. It's very, very go, go, go. You're yep. fighting the clock, um, trying to get as many rounds as you can. And, and this is really where we put on a lot of muscle. You know, we start to, to prime the body for that muscle gain throughout the winter time. And, and I mean, we're already seeing some insane results. We, uh, at the end of every month, we test our kids. We do like a combine week, which yep. is pretty fun. So we have a number of different tests and we saw some of the numbers skyrocket this week, which was insane to see. It's really cool to see the kids' reactions too. Well, it makes you know? sense because in season, naturally, like the, the training isn't as, it's not a density phase. No, definitely season. not. Like that no. would make zero no, sense whatsoever. No, definitely not, yeah. So because that reason, now all of a sudden they're having a lot of stimulus. Exactly. And then their bodies are like, Yes! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! And then it adapts to it and it takes their body yeah. into the next realm, which is awesome. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it's a really fun phase. Us coaches get to be a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more intense as well, which is always more fun. Um, and the kids just really, really feed off the energy in here. Yeah. It's a good vibe in here on these days. That's what's cool about like athletic training in general recently, because athletes, it's been, we, we talked about this, is like, Athletes have basically, like, strength coaches have dialed it down to the absolute minute detail. Yeah. The, the best strength coach that is. I sure. should say not all strength coaches. Right, but right, right. Like, it, it is so intricate on each training, and that's why, like, athletes are getting better and better. Absolutely. And, you know, like, you'll see certain teams like that might not have as good a training. They'll have more injuries a lot yeah. of the times. And yeah. other teams that have great training, they're, like, a healthy team. They right. can handle contact and contact sports. They can Go handle the whole yeah, season. 100%. Stuff like that, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So, it's so cool to see right. how training continues to evolve and right. get better and better, which you wouldn't think it could. Because, you know, like, when you and I, I mean, again, we've been doing this for how many years now, is 
we were like every year or every month even it evolves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it gets, it gets better yeah. and better, which is crazy. Well, and because also. You know, two things. You know, one, training's evolving because there's new equipment coming out all the time. Like the Run Rocket we talked about earlier, oh, guys. Yeah. You know, it's over there very in the corner. Machine, you know, yeah. it's a very unique machine. You're exactly right. Um, even things like the slide boards, like we were just doing the rollouts on. Like, it's not, not that that's a super complex piece of equipment, but. It's also not like normal. Back in the gyms, 50s, yeah. they didn't have that. Oh, they would have been lost. No, exactly. Because, yeah. Yeah. Cavemen. Ooh, ooh, what do we do? Steel plates. <laughs> Pick up weights, put it back on the bar. Like that. That's what it would have been. That's great. <laughs> But also, the second point here is you and I and the guys I work with, we're coaches, we're trainers that are always learning. We're always trying to find ways to be better for our clients, for our athletes, whatever it is, yep. you know, because the better we get as coaches and as trainers, the better results they get, the more efficient results they get, you know? And so, and that's what it's about. It's not about us, it's about them. No doubt. You know, so very, very fun phase, but uh, big off season, yeah. Big off season. Yeah. All right guys, so our next movement. So we just did the loaded jumps like you saw Gable demonstrate. That was four by four. Okay, now we are moving on to five by three of regular box jumps, trying to max out our height here. Okay, so it's actually a really good program. We're doing an Anthony Pershing workout right now. We've talked about him before on the podcast. Um, really good programming here though, because when you do the loaded movement, to be able to do then the maximum height you can afterwards unloaded, very, very good programming here. So we're still gonna take a step in. Right now we're set up at 36. Take a step in, explode, stand up. Please, please, please walk down off the boxes. Don't be the guy or the girl to jump off the box. That is how you get hurt. I've seen arms get broken doing that. Real talk. So please, do your jump, stand up, walk down off the box. Five by three, baby, let's get it. guys for our fifth and final set of the box jumps mm. we are both going to be doing 42 inches we're gonna lift off lift off Na Absolutely. nasa is gonna call us keep in mind we're two big bodies guys big bodies yeah so when we're doing 42 inches it's the best we can do and we're white and so that also that also that, comes into play that as well okay but as you yeah. saw in the little montage part there white men can jump in it, fact it's true we it's are true. we are breaking stereotypes here today mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> We're breaking barriers. We're breaking racism. Come on, guys. We're solving it right now. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. So, just for proof for the video, Mr. Gable is up there. And there is... You know I'm a short guy, too. Look at, my, look at my legs dangling up. <laughs> I got a stool right now. Here you go. You got a 24. You got a 12. You got a 6. What's that math? Uh, 34. Oh, sorry. It's 42. <laughs> Just kidding, I passed algebra, guys. No big deal. I'm smart. All right, let's, let's go. Down. All right, guys, breaking down last movement here. Oh, give me one second. We, we, got, we gotta check some, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Huh, Words, I don't know if that's part of the workout. Oh yeah, it, it called for a, a mid-workout bullpen session. Okay, that yeah. makes sense, I guess. That was nice, actually. I big, was I was aiming for the batter there. Big baseball guy. He he pissed me off. He hit a homer. Well, earlier. you got to take him out sometimes. So look at this. Hey, he's getting yep, one. Yep, yep. Oh. Well. Oh. You know, buzz the tower a little bit. Throw it inside. No, yeah, you gotta let him know. Yep. Oh. Right in the back. Oh. So my. you hit a homer off of me. You stare at it, yeah. you're getting one in the dome or in the back like that. So, I throw 100, don't mess with what me. What about upper decky to the dome? Oh, sure, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always the upper deckies, and then you come in with a little breaking ball action like this. <laughs> yep, swing oh, fist, strike my. So Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, so, yeah. so it, you know, it's... You're basically Nathan Navaldi. The, the big leagues are coming. Yeah. Yeah, so, and here we go. And I won the World Series, so. I mean, you look better than any of the Cardinals pitchers, that's for sure. Oh, that's not that's, difficult. That's what I will say right that's now. That's not difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Tap it on tap, fam. Yeah. We just killed 
that workout. Yes, we did. A little bit of cardio on an early Friday morning. Yep. You know, a little bit of fun cardio for us. Cardio core circuit with some uh, plyo work on the boxes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And a little explosion. The, the mid-workout bullpen, obviously. I mean, it's a necessity. It, it has to happen. Maybe yeah. we need to do a little BP vlog. Probably. That would actually be yeah. pretty fun. And then, I can, and then I can just blow pitches by you because I'm a <laughs> sick pitcher. I'm sick of pitching. Anyway, guys, all right, that is going to be our next gym vlog here down at Legacy Performance Academy. Again, this is where I work. This is where I train um, my athletes and whatnot. Absolutely love it down here. As you can see, it's a sick facility. A lot of cool and fun equipment um, that you don't get to really see everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell, yeah. So, guys, until next time, peace and love. Ladies and gents, we'll see you later. Like on. Is it on? Yeah, it is on. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh. I literally, I literally butchered that jump so bad. That's funny as hell. I didn't even. What I, happened, dude? I like. What went in, I went into the jump. I went like this. I barely got off the ground. <laughs> what, what was the idea there? What was the point? <sighs> Let's go, baby! It's too, too easy for Come you. Come on! Let's go, bro. <laughs> eat, eat, <Boom>. eat, eat. <laughs>